Hello guys, welcome once again to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking, thank you for stopping by. I remain your humble host, Bolu. Thank you for exploring with Bolu. If this is your first time of stopping by, you are highly welcome. You may consider subscribing because we have beautiful content on the channel currently and more are still on the way coming. So, you're welcome to explore with Bolu. And if you are a returning subscriber, you are also welcome. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for always stopping by to explore with Bolu. I really appreciate every one of you. You're the reason why Bolu is still on your screen today. Anyways, today I'm bringing you an interesting topic. Interestingly enough, I think at this time there are a lot of people that actually wants to come to Malaysia. And some of you that have been watching my videos have also been commenting, I'm coming to Malaysia next week. I'm coming to Malaysia next month. Thank you, Bolu, for your videos. I'm coming to study in Malaysia. And some people have even contacted me personally, you know, for advices and uh, more information about Malaysia. So I think this video is very, very important and interesting to everybody, regardless of if you are a Malaysian. Of course, if you are a Malaysian, you're going to appreciate the beauty of your country, okay, from the side of a foreigner. And if you are coming to Malaysia, you'll be well prepared, okay, of what you are going to meet when you arrive in this beautiful country, Malaysia. So today I'll be telling you why I think Malaysia is the best country or one of the best countries in the world, okay, and it's a very, very, very amazing place you should consider visiting. If you want to listen to my point, stay tuned to the very end as we proceed in this video. But before we continue, why don't you consider liking this video? Because I don't know how YouTube does these things these days. If you don't like the video, they will not give other people that need this information. So please like the video. I know you're already enjoying it. Like it right now, okay? Drop a comment down below and then uh, your comments can help somebody you never can tell, okay? And uh, share the video so that other people will be aware of this wonderful country, Malaysia. Let's go straight to the video right away. Welcome back, guys. So yes, why do I love Malaysia and why do I think it is one of the best countries in the world? Just for your information, I've been in Malaysia for five years already and I've actually studied the country and our people to a large extent, okay, uh, due to my day-to-day -day interactions with people, vlogging around, study, and so on and so forth. So I have a bank of experience to share with you all. Number one very important and interesting thing that makes Malaysia one of the best nations in the world is the fact that it is a peaceful country. No one can argue this. Malaysia is very peaceful compared to many countries in the world. In fact, you can check for yourself, and I'm going to put it here for your confirmation. As of 2022, Malaysia ranked number 18 most peaceful country in the world across the globe. Isn't that mind-blowing? Of course it is. So yes, it is very peaceful. You see here, nobody really cares about your color, your religion, where you come from or whatever. Everybody lives in peace and harmony. The country itself is multiracial. They have the Malay, they have the Chinese, they have the Indian. All of them live together peacefully. It's very, very rare to see people fighting here in Malaysia and then, um, you know, having a lot of um, misunderstandings here. It is very rare. And even if they do, they actually manage it amicably. That is very, very beautiful. So it's peaceful. You can come here, enjoy yourself in the night, anytime. You have no uh, fear of somebody bombing somewhere or fighting here and there or whatsoever. It is a very peaceful place. You don't need to be scared. Okay. Number two is that Malaysia is a home to a lot of foreigners. A lot of foreigners have said this and I'm confirming it. This is really true. Okay. It is a home to a lot of foreigners. The acceptability rate of foreigners here in Malaysia is so high. They welcome you with their two hands, not just with one. You know, some people will welcome you like this with one and the other hand is at the back. Or some, they are facing one like this, their other eyes is at the back. No, Malaysia embraces you. Okay, you see foreigners everywhere, you know, interacting with locals as if they are family members. Personally, I've experienced this a lot of times. My Malaysian friends, even though I may not have a lot of Malaysian friends, but the few I have, they are quality ones, okay? They actually see you as a family. They don't discriminate. And they accept you amicably and want to show you the beauty of their culture and also want to learn about you. They take you to try their foods and they also want to try your food. That is the real Malaysian spirit. They are one. 
So acceptability of foreigners is a very big factor that makes Malaysia among the amazing countries you should consider visiting. Next point is that Malaysia itself is an active country. Yes, you may say or you might have heard that it is a very reserved country due to the culture and religion here, but to your surprise and to my surprise, it is actually very active. If you want places where you can actually go out in the night with family, enjoy yourself, it is Malaysia. Restaurants here, they run till midnight. There are even restaurants that run all night. So you can imagine that. That was one of the experiences I had when I came here newly, okay, in 2017. I went for lectures because our lectures then used to be from 6 to 9 in the night. So I couldn't catch the bus because I was not familiar with the buses then. And then I came very late. So when I dropped, it was around 11 at a particular place. And I saw the place so active, just a normal street, you know. People were coming there to come and eat, even families. There was a complete family that were just dropping from their car, going to eat at around 11.30, close to midnight. So yes, it's active because, of course, it's peaceful. And you know, for a nation to be active and enjoy all these things, there are the basic amenities that should be provided. For example, they have 24-hour electricity here. They have water. They have good roads. They have security. So everything is quite amazing. If you are looking for this kind of country with this Qualities I've mentioned then, Malaysia is the country for you. Next is the food diversity. In Malaysia, any kind of food you want is here. Any kind of cuisine, okay? Both Malaysian cuisine. Malaysia itself, they have different kinds of cuisine. They have the Malay food, they have the Chinese food, they have the Indian food, they have the Sabah people food, and so on and so forth. Different delicacies. From my experience, any state I travel to, they have their own delicious delicacy that is unique to that state. You can imagine that. So yes, why don't you try out Malaysian food? You will thank me later. A lot of foods. And apart from the Malaysian local food itself, they also have foreign cuisines. You know, Malaysians love trying foreign food. I've also noticed that they like Korean food, Japanese food, because you see these like common. Even in their normal bus parks, you will see sushi and all those delicious delicacies. So yes, different countries' food, Arab food is here in abundance. Even African food, although African food may not be so much like that. But yes, it is still available. So you can imagine, they have all the different kind of cuisines, American food and so on and so forth. It is a place where if you want to lose weight, it may be very difficult for you. But <laughs> if you are disciplined, definitely you can still lose weight. Next is about transportation. Easy and affordable travel around Malaysia. Yes. Compared to other places, moving around Malaysia is very easy and affordable as well. They have different transportation uh, routes here yeah, and means of transportation. They have roads, they have train, they have air, they have sea. Even within the city, you can see safe and affordable uh, ferry rides and so on and so forth. So yes, transportation here is amazing. Some of the transportation are free. There are free buses as well, even in, like, where I stay, in Selangor, in PJ, there are free buses. In KL, there are free buses, okay? So it's just for you to know your uh, schedule and where you are going to. You can actually enjoy free transportation to a large extent. Even the paid buses are not that expensive as well. Trains also are very affordable. And if you're a student, you can have the concession cards, which gives you around 60% discount can you imagine that even though it's affordable as a student you still enjoy 60 percent discount regardless of whether you are a foreigner or a local student you will enjoy this different kinds of train the mrt the lrt the monorail single rail train can you imagine there are trains in the tunnels underground and then ktm the long travel train and a lot okay even the speed train as well there are a lot of options for you to choose from also, ferry is there, very safe. I've tried their ferry before. I was amazed, okay? I think a 66-seater ferry. It was an amazing and pleasant journey. Also, there are buses, like I said. So, any kind of transportation you desire, it's here and affordable for you in Malaysia. Next, you have the abundance of attraction areas, not just for tourists, for even locals and everybody. And they are affordable. Some of them are even free. You have parks, a lot of parks, water parks. You have a vegetative areas. You have uh, theme parks, theme parks for your kids. You have uh, beaches and a lot of places where you can actually enjoy yourself here in Malaysia. There are also caves around. If you are somebody that likes adventure, Malaysia is also there for you. There's an option. 
for everyone here in Malaysia. Next is the affordable lifestyle. Of course, the lifestyle here, I may not say is cheap per se, but yes, there is also the cheap one. Depends on your budget. I would just say if you have a budget, Malaysia is for you. If you want affordable ones, if you want middle ones, if you want very expensive and luxurious lifestyle, Malaysia is there for you. Next is the weather. The weather here, of course, it's arguably hot, but definitely at the same time, they enjoy rainfall, a lot of rainfall. Like Malaysia always enjoys rain almost every day. Even as I'm filming this video now, the flowers, all of them, they are dancing because rain wants to fall, you see? So we enjoy rain every blessed day. So I think the weather is not that bad. It's just that you may not have the cold, the winter, like in the European countries, but generally it's an amazing weather. And one of the most important factors I would like to state is that Malaysians are a happy people. They are happy, they are joyful, they always smile. Why wouldn't you want to visit a country and stay in a place where people are always smiling and amazing and welcoming to you? Yes, that is the best if you ask me. All my interactions, I've always seen beautiful people, amazing people. They want to actually come close to you. They want to hear from you. They want to talk to you. They want to, you know, listen to your own experience. They are so amazing. And finally, in this episode, I will talk about the safety. Malaysia is safe to a large extent, at least 75% safe. Everywhere you go, there is light in most places within Malaysia. And the security is very tight. So why wouldn't you want to visit Malaysia? Why wouldn't you want to study in Malaysia? I mean, let me know why you will not want to visit Malaysia, why you don't want to study in Malaysia, and let's wait with why people love to study here, people love to live here. In the comment section below, then we are going to see the margin line of which one actually is the best. Come to Malaysia or skip Malaysia? Let me know in the comment section below. But for me, I think it's a beautiful country. It's amazing. If you have more questions regarding to Malaysia, please drop it down in the comment section below, and I'm going to compile it together and make another video for you guys. For now, I remain my humble self, Bolu. And uh, if you want to study in Malaysia, like I said, I offer these services. Feel free to contact me on uniquetechconsult at gmail.com or drop a message down below, and I will reach out to you with the best service uh, available. I love you guys so much. Enjoy yourself. Stay safe. Don't let anybody steal your joy. And let me know your experiences about Malaysia in the comment section below. Till I see you next time. Much love and God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.